Thank you everybody for being here today. Um, this is a community conversation. Uh, Somerville Media Center is hosting the Somerville Learning 2030 focus group today and you are a part of it, so thank you. Could we go around and just say everyone's names? Um, I could start. Um, I'm Tiara. I'm Jaden. I'm Diha. I'm Caroline. I'm Patrick. <laughs> I'm Anya. I'm Ben. Nice, thank you. All right, so the Somerville Learning 2030 is a community visioning conversation about the kinds of learning experiences and opportunities that we want for children and teenagers in Somerville. Do you think Somerville has enough learning opportunities that includes activities and services for children and teens both in and out of school throughout the year? Service-wise, I think like more jobs could always be mm. used, like more jobs for kids. Yeah. I think like like I feel like Teen Empowerment at Sermon Media Center, there's like some ice cream places. Uh, but otherwise it's like feels very limited. All students should be able to get a job if they want to. I feel like since Somerville is like becoming greater and obviously like more people are coming to Somerville, especially like small startup companies, I think they should be able to partner with some of the schools, even middle schools, just to get them exposed. But also I feel like there are in a way enough opportunities in Somerville, but obviously there can obviously be more but they aren't always outreached or like brought to like, people's attention. In high school, like you're already so indecisive, so if there's more opportunities for you, like with any sort of startup company that comes to Sonoma, like literally anything, then it could just like, refine your own decisions that yeah. way also. What do you think those opportunities could look like either in and out of school? I mean like in a way like maybe a work study somewhat but obviously those are some sort of liabilities and the waivers a bit but also I feel like just like a co-op like I know that at Sorbonne High School we do have our CT program which like helps you be exposed to just more like like work like the work field but not really anything going towards like an actual like major in a way mm -hmm. but I feel like there should be like some study that should also be involved with like other like partnership companies coming to Somerville. What do you think is most difficult for children and teens living in Somerville? I think what's <coughs> most difficult is like, like as a teenager, we don't get like a lot of like say in our community sometimes. And like sometimes it feels like even though like we try, our voices never like truly get heard. And like that's something that like sort of like, sort of like, makes me sad and like frustrated sometimes like I'll see like students who don't like really like being at school and like I just feel like so bad for them because like for them like I see like they're just like having a hard time with it and like like are forced to like come in every day and like sometimes I see them like being like rude to like teachers and like other staff members or other students and I'm just like maybe if they weren't in school like I think they would just be like a lot happier like, we don't have, like, a lot of choices to, like, do what, like, we want. And that's, like, something, like, I think Somerville needs to, like, work on. Yeah, I think it kind of, like, goes back to, like, the more, like, jobs, internship yeah. stuff. Like, just have, like, being able to, like, have a place where, like, you can do things that you want to do, I think. And, yeah. and just, like, and also stuff that's, like, productive and isn't, like, harming the community in any way. I still live in Somerville, and something that's, like, hard for me is seeing it change. Um, like, I see so many beautiful houses being built and, like, complexes being built. And, like, I see th 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 there's an assembly square. Like, it's gorgeous and nice and stuff. And then there's, like, the green line that's coming. And, like, it w and then there's the rent that's raising. And it just worries me because I feel like I won't, like, my home will change. And, like, it won't change for the better. It it's changing for a specific group of people who have the money to live. And then with people who I identify with, um, like Latino, like Latinos, I just, I don't see a future for minorities in Somerville. Yeah, like thinking back to last year when there was the, um, the shooting in Florida and then there was all the walkouts. Like I know as like, th as the walkouts were happening, like less and less students participated in them. And I know I was at the Kennedy at that point last year, and a lot of the teachers were saying how, you know, they're just doing it for attention, they're doing it because they want to skip class, they're doing it because all these reasons that weren't true. Um, and then it just shows how, like what Jaden said, the um, like teenagers' voices are really not heard. And I 
think we're kind of looked upon as like troublemakers and if you're this race you're bound to do this and if you're this you're this yeah. and it's just people are so quick to label people especially adults are very quick to label teenagers um, and I don't think they kind of understand that they might be going through things that you can't really put a label on um, so I think our voices should be heard and I think we need to be taken more seriously because if someone's not if no one has faith in you then you can't have faith in yourself yeah. and then obviously you're not going to do well in life and then people question oh you know what's wrong with him why is he putting his life down the drain like that and it's because like no one believed in him or her and that's kind of it's kind of your fault it sounds like there's a lot there you know like you feel like your voices aren't heard and um wanting to maintain like what makes Marvel great, like the diversity and keeping minority populations. Do you have um, any like one or two things that maybe the city could do to make those problems better or to make like what you envision Somerville being, like your ideal, happen? I'm building off of previous answers in terms of reaching out from other companies in the community, if there was a better, more universal program or network for all the community to kind of like, almost like a club fair, but for the, the work, like workshops for working at a company within Somerville, if we had that type of thing happen at, at the school once or twice a year, where kids could be like, here's like all the other opportunities that you could work in Somerville for here, like the ages, like if you have to be 14, 15, 16, 17, or 18 years old, kind of that type of thing, and knowing what has to go and stake for working there, how often the hours and stuff, and kind of really presenting that to the students and having kind of a, a whole event for that and a network for all of the uh, companies within Somerville. I feel like that would be helpful for like job opportunities. Yeah, there needs to be not a panel, but at least like a group that could address this in the actual setting where the actual people who have like power in this could hear it directly from our mouths rather than like an email or paper or on the behalf of us. Like we should also have the right to walk into a room and talk straight face to face with the person because that also shows like our maturity our responsibility and how much you care about it first of all rather than someone passing it on like a proxy um also like i think generally what i'm hearing and like I, and like what i've always believed in is that education is literally the key to make this all go away um because it, it's if we if teenagers are educated on what's happening in the world, like on like things like sexual assault, sexual harassment, race, uh, racism, uh, so many other things that trouble Somerville, then I think so many of the issues of today that like all we all face would kind of go away. And like if they're educated on opportunities, then um, we would like be able to. Uh, like those teenagers would be able to like prosper but at the same time again I've heard many sources where those educators those people who are supposed to educate us who are supposed to help us prosper like some of them they're just not there for it like they just don't want to be there for it and that makes me feel uncomfortable because how can people like how can I prosper? How can my friends prosper when they're going to a school that is obviously not for them, that does not want them to prosper? I think one thing that like needs to be improved, and like I've said this a lot, but like I think we need like more mental like health awareness because I feel it's like something that like the school isn't really touching, and that sort of like saddens me because like I see like I feel like I see like a lot of people just like going through like hard times in their life and like maybe on like the outside nobody notices it but like I notice it a lot more than other people do because like I sort of like educated myself on my own of what like mental health looks like and like I know I see like a lot of students like very insecure or like very depressed or like very angry and that like really saddens me so like I think what the school needs to like do is like more mental health awareness, like bring in like mental health experts, like psychologists, like more more like more people. Yeah, I know that. Um, what is it? So you can get a therapist through the school, except I think that the system. I've I've had people tell me that they've like 
waited like they, they've like waited months to like get one and that yeah, seems yeah. like too big a span of time to like wait for something like that yeah, yeah. something that i've noticed like it's not really like an explicit behavior where like someone could easily like call it out or like notice it like straight out of the blue if it, whenever it happens but we do have like some resources like right now you aspire for obviously like financial aid for colleges specifically like for like seniors or just like people going like post-secondary um, plans but I feel like even for guidance counselors or just like any other like sort of resource that helps us so much in the future it's looked upon it's like it's looked upon in a bad light in a way with like teachers like during the school day because those resources are there so that you're able to reach them and able to like actually like have access and benefit from them but I feel like teachers in a way feel like their classroom prioritizes over certain things that may be more important to you and there needs to be a general like talk with teachers about what really is okay in the classroom and what <laughs> like I shouldn't be having to ask permission to go to my guidance counselor because I'm going through something rough because that pushes me further along so there needs to be a talk I mean it shouldn't just be administration administ the administration talking to the teachers, but it should be also the students having a one-on-one -on -one or even like a group conversation. Because even then, I feel like students will be intimidated by the teachers because they don't want personal opinion or personal emotions being hurt, which would also sort of affect their psyche during class. I feel like when the teacher, like when the students say something to the teachers, which they haven't experienced before, like sometimes I feel like they might just like either block it out or like, they will try their hardest like not to like go to like that point it's like when you haven't like experienced something and like someone else is going through it you're more likely to like ideal like uh, identify with like the person who also hasn't dealt with it and like that's like a very scary thing when I think about it because like then many students I feel won't like actually get to he hear their like voices heard and I feel like a lot of the students themselves are just like in a really bad place because of it. Yeah, honestly, like if you went, I, it's just annoying because you have all these things and they keep saying, you know, go to your guidance counselor, talk to your teacher, I'm here for you. But you know that if you talk to them about something that might be touchy or something that you've done that was probably bad judgment in the moment, but you did it anyways, even though you feel guilty for that, they see past that and they just think, well, you're a child, you did this, you're immature you know, we're going to suspend you. They never understand why. It's like, oh, you know, you you smoked weed. Yeah, you shouldn't have done it, um, but you did it anyways, and you're underage, and you did it on school property. And even though, you know, like you have a lapse of bad judgment, they think, you know, we grow up, we grow up in a different generation than most of our teachers grew up in. And when they, you know, talk about phones and social media and give it such a negative... Um, negative um, input about it and how it's you know bad they don't also see the good side and how we grew up with it and how it's kind of a part of our lives that we care about um, and then they talk about you know all the drugs and everything that again is being abused by a lot of people but people don't understand why people do it like the teachers don't understand maybe there's a reason that this person wants to get high maybe there's a reason that you know, maybe they're hurting inside and they never understand the reason. You just get in trouble and then when you're in trouble, you feel more of a, um, a will to rebel against that. I mean, I know I do. Um, so it's just, I wish that, like personally, if I went to someone about something that I might have done that I didn't, that I regret, I want them to, to sympathize with me and um, ask me if there's a reason instead of just saying, you know, you did what you did uh, you're in trouble because it's not fair because just because you didn't grow up in a generation that um, that happened in doesn't mean that it's any easier for us and people say you know you live such great lives like you you know you're not a third world country this is this and that but then again it doesn't make our problems any any easier and I think just people need to stop judging like what Caroline uh, Carolina said, like, oh. Carolina, my bad, I'm sorry. <laughs> I get mixed up. Well, Carolina said, no one asked for your opinion. Like, if I'd have asked for your opinion, if I wanted it, I'd have asked for it. And I didn't ask for it. I just want your guidance. And I did something that I shouldn't have done. 
but I'm not asking for a lecture. That's what my parents do. Like I just want judge. I just want guidance, and that just does not happen at SHS. Honestly, it's sad, but it's true.